Hey everybody, so today we're going to go ahead and show you how to change out your golf cart batteries. First, we're going to need to go over what you need. To start, you're going to want some gloves, preferably some mechanic gloves, some mechanic uh, type gloves or something that's really going to protect your hands from the battery acid that you will probably encounter. Safety glasses, zip ties, you're also going to want to make a solution of baking soda and water. This is going to help. Um, this is going to clean the, you're going to use this to clean the, the battery bay where the batteries sit because there's most likely going to be some corrosion on it and different, just acid. Um, you're also going to want the battery protectant. We're going to spray this on after we replace with the new batteries. Um, and then from there, you're going to want a socket wrench with 9 16th inch or half inch sockets. It depends on the battery brand. Um, you also, if possible, if you have an extension that will help raise up the socket wrench a little bit, that's gonna come in handy to prevent you touching um, the terminals with the wrench. If you connect those terminals, it's gonna turn into a welder and it's painful and it scares the heck out of you. Uh, you're also going to need a uh, battery strap. This is going to make lifting the batteries out a lot easier. Um, if you don't have a battery strap or you can't get access to battery strap, you could use zip ties that are heavy duty that you would then just tie around the batteries where the battery strap would go and you can lift it out from there. The first step we're going to do is you're going to want to take a photo of the battery layout. You're also going to want to draw a sketch of how the um, layout is. You're going to want to identify the main positive, the main negative, the battery charger cable. This is what connects the charger up to the batteries. The battery polarity orientation and wire configuration. You're also going to want to identify any accessories that are maybe connected um, to the terminals. Um, a side note, there may be an extra wire tap for power for additional accessories that's not seen here. Uh, battery packs can vary, so just be sure to keep this in mind. The second step you're going to want to take is just to make sure that the vehicle is off and the charger is unplugged. Newer golf carts may have a tow and, and run switch. If that's the case, flip the switch to tow. Um, you'll, see, you'll see it, it'll be somewhere in the battery bay. A lot of times it's towards the back, um, but it can be, depending on your brand, it could be anywhere. The next step is to disconnect the main negative, main positive, and any accessories that are connected. You will be able to distinguish the main negative because it will be connected to a negative terminal and it will lead off of the battery and not connect to another battery. The main positive, same concept, it's connected to a positive terminal and it leads off of the battery and does not connect to another battery. Next, you're going to want to do the accessories and notice here we're using zip ties. This is where those zip ties come, into hand, come in handy is you're going to want to zip tie um, the accessories that are, that are on each terminal together with that specific terminal. Um, so you want to group them up. These accessories here, these two that are currently being zip tied, um, are going to be connected to the main negative because that's where they were at. So we just want to keep these together. For the next step, we're going to remove the remaining cables. Oh, 
All right, and now let's go ahead and remove the golf cart batteries. Next, we are going to clean the battery bay with our baking soda and water solution. Prior to doing this, however, be sure to put down, say, cardboard with a towel over it just so that any acid that may drop doesn't get onto your concrete or grass. Um, this will kill grass and it will stain permanently your concrete. Once you have finished spraying the battery bay with your solution, let it sit for a few minutes and then grab a paint scraper or something similar and scrape off any excess acid that it's dissolved. Once you're finished scraping, grab a towel and clean up the dissolved acid. And now we're going to go ahead and install our fresh new pair of US battery batteries. Whenever doing this, be sure that you are referring back to your diagram that you drew, just so you have the correct placement of the terminals and, and layout. And now we're ready to reconnect the cables. Um, refer to your diagram for this to make sure that you do it correctly. Um, one thing that I do want to say is that you need to reconnect the cables that are connecting the batteries first, and then your accessories, and then lastly, the positive and the, the main positive and the main negative. Next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have reconnected the cables correctly. Refer to your diagram for this. Um, it's an easy mistake to make, so just make sure that they are correct before doing anything else. All right, and lastly, you're going to want to secure your batteries with hold downs. You probably had to remove them in the beginning in order to be able to replace your batteries. You're going to want to put those back on. You're then going to want to test all lights and electronics as well as confirm that the vehicle goes forward and reverse. You can do this by lightly tapping the accelerator pedal. Next, you're going to want to spray battery terminal protectant on the terminals. Um, we also recommend doing this monthly hereafter. And finally, you're going to want to charge the batteries, making sure that they are fully charged before their first use. And that's it. We hope this video helped you. If so, like, share, and comment, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.